LakelandCarkeys.com. I got something a little bit different today. We're going to do a unboxing. I ordered um, an AC kit from Vivor to be able to redo the AC system. I got uh, two trucks, my Honda Civic, my Honda Accord, that all need to have the AC system done. So I went ahead and brought a new vacuum gauge set with a compressor pump. So uh, I did see Vivor had a, a very good deal on their website. I ordered it, it came in very quickly. And then I seen a few other things there that I definitely want to order soon for some other projects we got going on at the shop. So, uh, you know, stick around, look forward to, um, I'm definitely gonna grab their mag drill setup and I am gonna grab the uh, t-shirt t-shirt heat press setup because I'm setting up a printing room in the back where we're gonna make t-shirts. So I definitely need uh, uh, one of those. And like I said, we'll, we'll I'll go through and see what other things they had. They had a lot of really cool stuff and I'm gonna try to give you a, a honest review, my opinion on what, you know, the quality and if it gets the job done. Um, like I said, this was an amazing deal. Um, not too long ago, I had rented a vacuum pump from AutoZone and I think I had to give them like a $165 deposit or something and, you know, the pump was crap or whatever. It's been used a lot. And I got this whole kit, I want to say, it was under $130. So if it works out good, that's awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and do the unboxing. All right, so here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Get this box cut open. So the box arrived. It's in pretty good condition. And it arrived fairly quickly. All right. So it looks like everything comes in a pretty neat storage case and that's awesome so that everything can stay together and stay protected while it's not in use all right i'm gonna go ahead and zip this top part open and uh the first part we have here is uh your halogen leak detector so basically when you uh fill your freon up you know a lot of times people are going to come and say oh my ac system just needs to be recharged and you recharge it and then two or three days later they say oh it cut off it's not working a lot of times they have leaks and basically what this will do is uh this can detect the freon gas and you can um uh, go ahead and search for leaks uh searching for leaks also helps uh when you use some dye in the ac system and you have the right uv glasses and, and uh the light you can see where where the leak is there, but this will detect um, the gas. So it looks like it needs two, I can't tell if these are double A's or triple A's. They kind of look double A side-ish, but I will confirm once I get into the menu of what size it's set, because it doesn't actually say there. Actually, those, those actually might be triple A's, but um, it does not come with the batteries in it, but there was a, another manual inside the, the box that it came with, so I'll have to go ahead and go through that. So, Alright, so next thing inside, let's see what we got here. This part of the manifold gauge set yep. so this is your basic uh, AC manifold gauge set you're gonna have a high and low side and then you have three sets of cables which will be high and low and then you will also have uh, the input cable and basically you know you got a little viewing screen there that you should be able to see uh, the gas pass through there. And basically what this does is um, it lets you test the pressure, uh, your, your AC lines. They have to be within a certain range or else, you know, if you have too much uh, Freon, the AC system won't 
come on or if you don't have enough, it won't come on. So basically, you want to have the correct level of Freon and you need a, a, a really good gauge setup. I know a lot of people like to just buy the cans from the parts store and uh, fill up their system and, you know, you could get away with it. I use, you know, uh, auto parts store cans when I have to, but you need to have a real good gauge setup. Also, when you're doing like me, I replaced the AC system on those four vehicles that um, I mentioned. I need to be able to pull down a certain amount of vacuum. I need to be able to pull vacuum through the whole system to make sure it's uh, uh, free of moisture or anything. And then I need to pull down the vacuum and let it hold, you know, for several hours. I usually do it overnight and basically as long as that vacuum holds the same amount, I know there's no leaks in the system, and then I'm good to go ahead and actually introduce the Freon. So that's the, those are the gauges, and then you just get your bags with your different fittings. So this looks like the fitting I'd use if I was using the auto parts store can. Um, and you got your quick connects for your your high and low pressure. So they are low is blue, high is red. And then your, it's just your cable setup. So it's very, it's very simple, same thing. Blue is gonna be your low side, red's gonna be your high side. And then the yellow will be your input. That's good. You're gonna uh, connect that to your Freon can. So I'm actually not gonna open these bags, but it should have everything you need there. All right. And then this last big box. Ooh, this is heavy. This is gonna be your uh, your vacuum pump. So there is a manual uh, a manual there. And then. So these vacuum pumps, you know, you can get them in various different sizes. And V-Board did have uh, a pretty big selection of, uh, you know, the CFMs that your vacuum pump will put out on their website. Um, you know, I just went and tried to get something middle range. So right out the box, there was some oil in the bag. Um, you know, that's possible at some point. This might have been flipped upside down and, you know, I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, see, that cap wasn't completely tight. So before I actually do run it, I will uh, go ahead and just verify that my compressor oil is at the right level. And you all, you're gonna wanna check your compressor oil often because you don't wanna blow out your compressor motor. Luckily, oil, did not get all over the place, but there is some that's down here on on the vibration legs. Let me just get this cap open and see what we have. All right, so there's no visual from the top, but it looks like there is a side window there that will. Uh, let me see my AC compressor oil level. So turn this. So yeah. So right now we're all, all the way down below the minimum. So I'll have to stop and get some compressor oil. And we're going to want to fill it up to the max line. So that's something I'll have to do. I was actually going to plug this in so you can hear how loud it is. Or well, how loud it is. And I, I don't know. But um... Yeah, without that compressor oil, I cannot turn it on. Oh, 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 sorry. I didn't even see this fall out the package, but apparently we uh, we did get some pump oil with it. So I am gonna go ahead. So it maybe, you know, the little bit of oil that was in that bag, it looks like it ships with just enough oil to, you know, keep it wet. Obviously, you know, that's not, you know, the oil that's missing in it now is not the oil, you know, it wasn't shipped with full oil. 
So, you know, that that's a plus that, you know, in the event that it does leak out, you're not leaking out a full amount of uh, compressor oil. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me see. Add some of this in. And it's moving up slowly. It's it's definitely uh I'm still gonna go and I'll probably run by Harbor Freight and just uh grab another pump of compressor pump oil. It should if not be exactly the same as like an air compressor pump. So I'm just wiping down some of the oil off of the fins here. And yeah, we're, we're gonna need a lot more oil than this. So this is, this bottle came 250 milliliters. Oh, oh, now it's starting to go up fast. There we go. Let me just back off of it and I'm up to the second to last line before we hit the mat. So it looks like if I pour the rest of this in it might have just gave me exactly the, the full amount that I needed. And then even once you do fill up, once you actually run the compressor, it might go down a little bit if there's, you know, other c compartments inside the compressor that need to be uh, filled with oil. But, yeah, it looks like right there, that was a perfect amount to, uh, for us to be able to operate the compressor pump. On the cap, it does have an O-ring. It's nice and moist. Um, let me go ahead and tighten this down. Yeah, remember, this, this is going to vibrate a lot when it's running, so... You know, definitely put a little pressure on tightening it down so that it doesn't vibrate off and uh, spit compressor oil everywhere. And I am going to unwrap this. And let me just make sure it's shut off before I turn it on. So there's, there's an on-off switch right here in the back. So shut that off. Go ahead and plug this in. ahead and just give this a, a real quick t sound test and just see how much movement and vibration it does once it's on. Alright, that's not loud at all. So that's actually uh, pretty decent sound wise. It's not, you know, There we go. It wasn't moving too much air because the caps were on it. But... Alright, but even still, that's not really that loud. It's, you know, manageable. It's, you know, obviously you're going to be, you're going to be outside while using this. So it's not going to, you know, bother people in the house. And if need be in my driveway, if I need to leave it running for a couple of hours, like I said, if I want to pull vacuum through the system to make sure there's no moisture inside my AC system, you know, I'm going to want to hook it up and let it pull vacuum for uh, quite a while. And like I said, that's not going to bother my neighbors. It's not going to bother anyone inside my house. And so after, yep, so see, after I ran it for a little bit, 
the 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 level did drop down well i'm not i'm not holding it level now so but it's like on the table it's like right there it's right below uh the max level so again like i said i'll grab another bottle of compressor oil and you know just have it on hand but you know i just want to give you you know give everyone a, a quick rundown of uh of the Vivor kit. So basically it's just uh, your vacuum compressor, the manifold set, and a leak detector. And I don't think there's any anything else that I would have needed in any of the uh, the kits. There is a you know a quick rundown of the manual of, of everything that should be there. And it looks like we did cover everything. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be real interesting. Like I said, I'm going to order uh, two more items from Vivor this week. And uh, within a week or so, I'll probably have another video up of me actually using this unit. So I can give you a, a idea of, you know, if it's good, will I suggest you buy it? Or, you know, suggest maybe skipping or, you know, getting one of the higher trim levels of what they have to offer. I don't know yet, this was just the unboxing. But um, like I said, I am gonna order the mag drill, I am gonna order the T-shirt press. And I, you know, there were a few other things I, I seen on there. I said, oh, I definitely need one of those for the shop. Um, I'm also this week, I'm gonna do a, another uh, shop tour video. Um, it's not set up yet. There's a lot of stuff that uh, still needs to be done around here. So, you know, once I do the walkthrough, I'll have an idea of some more things I need to order. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and um, try to get on with Vivor. I am actually trying to get into their um, influencer program to be able to test some of the, some of the stuff they had. Uh, this stuff and the other stuff that I mentioned, I did buy on my own. So, you know, this is not officially yet sponsored by Vivor. You know, this this is my own money. It was something I needed. And it was priced right, you know, compared to everything else that I've seen anywhere else. So, uh, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to box this back up and uh, store it away for when I do need it. But I just wanted to give y'all a real quick unboxing, let y'all know what's going on. And when you see all the Vivo products uh, pop up, you know, give you an idea of uh, if this is going to work out for you before you go ahead and buy it. All right. Thanks for watching. I like linkarkeys.com.